The easiest and fastest means to be recognized as a fashionable personality is through social media. Social media is very, very key. We are talking about social media fashion. My name is Maud Ade. This is Slayers. A quick turn. We are back after this. <laughs> Hello, my name is Francis Abuji. I'm the head of digital marketing. Welcome to Power Grid. Welcome to Fernot, Ghana's biggest furniture manufacturing place. With over four decades of manufacturing furniture, we are your best place for handling all your furniture projects. Welcome back, you're watching Slayers, and don't forget, fashion fades, style is eternal. Today we are talking about how to create a social media style as a fashion personality. Joining us to do the discussion is a style influencer, um, Lali Lati. Hi. Hi, Lali. Hello, Maud. How are you? Very well. How are you doing? Uh, thank you. How is everything? Um, everything is okay. It's fun. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, next to Lali, um, he was here with us last week, and he's back on our screens again is Eric Aqua, who is a style influencer. Eric, how's it? Fine, we are back again. <laughs> yes, we are back again. <laughs> All right, so next to Eric is um, Fashion, who is also a, style, a personal stylist and also um, a fashion blogger. I'm um, Fashion. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. So today is all about style. That's why you can see, I mean, our style influencers on the show today. We are talking about how to create a social media style, I mean, as a fashion person. All right, so first of all, I'll be, I'm interested in knowing your social media style guide. I'm sure a lot of people would love to know. What is your social media style guide? Okay, so with that, I want to start by saying I like to be uh, relatable as much as possible, minimal. Funky here and there, I love colors. I see some people's content is black and white. Mm. There's too many colors going on in Ghana for me to just stay black and white. Okay. So I want somebody to go on my page and feel like, oh, she's wearing this, mm -hmm. I can do this. Okay. It shouldn't be whereas only I can wear it, but nobody can relate to okay. me. So that's what Your I look for. Guide. Yes, my okay. style Okay, Lale. Um, Eric, pardon me, it's ladies first. <laughs> I decided to put me between <laughs> three beautiful ladies, so I, I will take it. <laughs> okay, so just like I'm um, fashion said, I also like to be very relatable. I go, I do me. Mm -hmm. If you go on my page, you realize I don't really follow trends. Right. I am not like a very trendy person. I okay. like to do my own thing. Okay. So I wear what I like and what makes me feel beautiful. Okay. And like she said, a lot of people are just doing one thing, like color theme. It has to be um, the earthy tones, mm -hmm. or black and white, mm -hmm. or a certain type of like back background white thing okay. and stuff like that. I, I feel we see that everywhere. I'm mm -hmm. tired of seeing that. Honestly, okay. I see that everywhere, and I think it's it's high time. Well, I can't say for people, but, but mm -hmm. I for wouldn't yourself. do that. Okay. Plus, I love colors, but um, what I've learned is you should know your body type and what things like what colors you to you so okay. yeah that flatters you so I don't really do colors in as much as I love to do colors I just try to go with a few things you know maybe mm -hmm. I'm wearing this blazer mm -hmm. it's um, it's colorful Peach. but I dolled it up with my jeans, jeans okay. like you know yeah okay like all right that's just me okay <laughs> Eric well, I think my style guide is very simple mm. very corporate mm. very gentle mm -hmm. very I mean, male kind of base fashion sense. Mm. I mean, when you go to my page, you should be able to find yourself if 
you are going to a corporate event, if you are going to a red carpet event, if you are just going out as a normal guy, a regular guy going out, you should be able to find something okay. on my page okay. that will suit you. But there's one thing about me, I do me, I mean, whatever is on my page is what I like. I might be able to look up to some people on social media, but I should be able to identify myself in whatever I wear. Mm -hmm. It should be comfortable with me. Colors, whatever that goes into an outfit, you should be able to make sure that you are comfortable in what you are wearing. Okay. There are certain people that they like colors. They want right. to have colors in everything that they mm. wear. I mean, that's not me. I mean, when you are dressing to a corporate event, mm -hmm. there are some colors that you can't take it. There are right. some colors that you should be able to do away with. Okay. That is my style. Okay. So when you go there, whether you are going for a corporate event, a red carpet, mm -hmm. I mean, just going out to have fun with the guys, going to a party or whatever, you'll be able to get something on my page that will be able to help you or guide you to where you are going. Do you have someone managing your page or you manage your page yourself? I manage my page myself. Okay. Ever you since have... I, I, I okay. started. Because I want to put out things that I want to portray or I want people to know mm. about me. Yes. Okay. If someone is managing my page, I don't think the kind of things I would want to write, the kind of things that I would want to tell people about why I'm wearing this outfit, he'll be able to say it in the way I want to. Because people do perceive you based on how they see you on social media. Sure. Mm. So if mm. somebody's running your page and they meet you, they expect, because for example, if your captions are funky, Jofia, mm. when they meet you in person, they think, oh, this person is Jofia, let me yeah. go joke with them. Yeah. Then you're like, yeah. why are you talking to me? But then it's not you who has been putting those things under your pictures. Yeah. So, yeah. But definitely if you have someone managing your page, you are also able to control whatever that happens on your page. As, as a blogger, I don't think somebody else should do that work for you. Okay. Yes. You should be in tune with your followers. It's you they are following, not... I mean, they can tell you what to put up, but you should be more involved, like, you know, okay. writing your own captions and stuff. If you okay. can't write it, you Google it, way, but it should be related. Because people trying to relate to you, yes, so it has mean. to definitely be you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But how do you make sure you maintain a consistent personality? and improve, I mean, creativity. Okay, so um, I always say consistency comes when you're doing something you love. When you're, like, when you're all out for it, when it's something you love. What I do, I love it. So it's not hard for me to create content. Sometimes we go blank, like sometimes you're like, oh my God, I want to do something, what can I do? Sometimes you don't know what to do, but the fact that you love it like makes you come up with something mm -hmm. and then if you love it, you keep doing it. I, I post every day in a week. Because I love, it. yes, every day in a week, like every day has like a, a photo with a story, with a caption. If you love it, you'll be able to do it. Okay. Uh, yeah, just like Lale said, consistency is very, very important. You might not necessarily be posting a picture or to tell a story or to write something about. But I think in this time, we are also making use of the, v, uh, the the status of on Instagram, right? You might not necessarily What's be wearing up? yes, you might not necessarily oh. be wearing that outfit or that shoe or that particular dress, mm -hmm. but you can put it on your status and write something very, I mean, minimal. very minimal, something that is in tune with your style. So I do not normally post every week. I I can say that there are weeks that I've not posted anything on I mean a, a picture at all. But definitely, I put something on my uh, status too, as it lets people know that this is something that you can wear to this place. This is something that you can take to this place. This is something that when you walk into a shop, you should be able to buy. So it, it means your page is always active. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, like that. Yeah. It is. It's That's what the people don't know. Yeah. People think it's very easy. Yeah. You know, just taking pictures just and then, then posting post. it. That's not mm. what it's all about. It's yeah. it entails a lot. For me, it's it's a lot. I I brainstorm. Like I have a like uh, a mood board, like something I, it, I don't just get up and think, oh, this is pretty, I just wear it. So it means, but has there been a day, you post every day, has there been a day that, I mean, you, you can't find in the picture nothing to post at all, and then you just, you will be sitting there thinking what, what you should do? Um, it, it happens when I'm in a certain mood, like when I'm in a certain stage, like a certain part, like of my world, like, yeah, that's why I go blank, or do I have stuff, but I feel like they don't, they don't relate to how I feel. I was wondering what you're feeling. Yeah, how I'm feeling. So I just, I just lay, I just lay blank. Yeah. There's okay. no pressure on posting. We just mm -hmm. choose to yeah. post to keep it going. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And you are not supposed to take your emotions on your job you're doing. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you are That's not supposed true. to do that. True. If you've lost a dear one and you are crying, the person who keeps following you, who keeps learning things on your page, should mm -hmm. not be aware. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Because this is work. It's like mm. an office thing that you are doing. Mm -hmm. So you shouldn't always be putting your emotions, emotions out there. You okay. must learn to keep that. Mm. If you know you are too emotional at a particular time and you do not want to put it out there, just just stay yeah. off it. Yeah. Mm. Just stay off when you are in good mood, when you are in tune for it, then you go back to it. Okay. Because yeah. last, somewhere last year it happened to me. I was like in a very bad state. I just went off because I just, um, you don't have to put your life out there. Mm -hmm. People, people are out there connecting dots that don't oh, even really? exist. Mm -hmm. Like, so um, I just I just went off because that is work. Whatever you see on social media is it's work. It doesn't mean it's me. It shouldn't necessarily be work though. It should be oh, you, you in a yeah, sense. Yeah, you relate to me, but it is not like a uh, hundred percent. I say that because one time on a regular day, I'm a oversized t-shirt and flip flops girl. Like. On a regular day, that's how you're gonna see me. So on a typical Saturday morning, when I'm out with my boys, boys eating fufu, you don't expect me to to be in my suit and tie eating fufu with my boys, boys. So when you see me out there and you go back or you tell your friends that I met this guy, 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 and he's in <laughs> t-shirt, he's in <laughs> Lacoste. It's only on social media that he does his guy guy. I met him personally. That's exactly how they say like, ah, do you know that a leg girl self crash? She's just been posing for them. I'm like, come on, on your regular me shirt, me your makeup and fun and to come. No, I have I have a um eight to five job. I don't go to the office with makeup on. No, I don't. I do when I have to shoot when I have to put content out there. But that's what people don't get. Plus, I want people to know that. Well, this is how I see my Instagram before blogging even came in. I see Instagram as a, a platform to showcase beautiful memories when mm. it comes to pictures. Yeah. So there's no way I'm going to... I'm not saying no way. I post pictures of my face with no makeup. But then on like 6 out of 10 is definitely beautiful pictures for me. Yeah. That is what my Instagram is about. Yeah. So like, yeah. And, and one thing is, most of these guys who go back criticizing and saying lots of both... I wouldn't bring that word. Yeah. Things about you. Mm. They don't even read what you put out the there. Caption. They just look at the picture and you know that they've concluded. They don't yeah. read what is down there. And it is very, I very guess important. It depends on the kind of pictures I mean you put out there. You know, there's some pictures that you you would love to look at it over and over and over again. There mm -hmm. are some that you wouldn't even want to read anything. Mm -hmm. Just I mean flip. Mm. I feel like mm. in this world please everybody sure. yeah do if you don't dare if you do i mean whatever they say it's like if they see you being relatable they say you are nobody like you're just pretending to be somebody and then when they see you over the top on social media then they're like hey this girl the way she did shut out like everything you do it's a problem and i realized i realized this early on this was 10 years when i moved back i used to live at Malam with my family and i used to wear maxi dress and one thing we Ghanaians, we love to stare. Mm. Oh, yeah. Maxi dress, they were looking at me like this. Mm -hmm. And then I wore a short shorts and they were looking. So I realized it doesn't matter mm -hmm. what you do. Somebody right. is always going to have something, something to say. say. Yeah. Yeah. It's simple yeah. as that. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. stick to what you're doing and love what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. But what are the kind of um, photos do you avoid or make sure people don't see on your page? I'm um, fashion. Um... <laughs> So I'm not really, listen, I'm not against anybody and what they want to put out there. Maybe just because I don't have it, mm -hmm. but I'm not up for the whole nudity. And mm -hmm. I'm not saying I don't have those on my page. But also, I think it's also because of my kids. I don't want my kids to grow up and, because these pictures, they stay on forever. forever. Yes. Forever. And I don't want them to see them one day and say, oh, my mommy was showing this or their friends are like saying, so I try to avoid the whole nudity and extra sexy pictures. But hey, if if that's for you, that's you, okay. but not me. Yeah. Okay, Eric. I think it's all about the content and the style that you want to put out there. Yeah. I'm kind of portraying what a gentleman should wear mm. or what a gentleman should do. Mm. So anything apart from that is a no-no for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lali. Myself. I mean, the pictures you, 
you avoid or you don't want people to go on your page to find. Just like um, Eric and said, and then I'm fashion said, I'm going to start with Eric. Like, it depends on what you're putting out there and your target audience, the kind mm. of people you're trying to attract to you. That's one thing people should know. What you put out there is, it's like a magnet. It attracts like the kind of metal you want it to come to you. Mm. And like she said, nudity is not my thing. You won't see me in a bikini. Not because I have a problem I with people. Know. How much magnet are you trying to pull? <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. We are pulling. The very <laughs> the Vogue, <laughs> you know, you won't see me in, in a bikini. That's mm. one thing you won't see me. And I'm trying to tell my um, my age mates or my my fellow women like of my age that you can still look sexy all covered up. Yes, like That's you can look very, very sexy, sexy right. covered up. You don't right. have to um, show, show everything. Mm -hmm. And then like yeah, but it's you don't. It looks like lately in Ghana, it's all about the curves. I mean, it is true. Yeah, yeah, the calves, true. I mean, the big, true. big bombs and the rest. True. The moment you post a picture about, I mean, someone like that, it flies very fast. Oh, yes. yes. But I'm, I'm, I'm a living testimony that it's not like that. I'm not very curvy. Like, mm. you don't have to go all the way down for you to get the likes. Well, the likes, for me, the likes matters because of my work, because a mm. client wants to see your reach. Mm. But that is not the main aim. It's not the main goal. If you're just a regular girl and you just want to have fun, I'm a regular girl. Right. Yeah. So, but is fashion or style expensive? <laughs> very. Fashion <laughs> is expensive, but style you can't buy. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, mm. that's what I believe. Like, style you can, you can never buy. buy. Somebody can Stars wear you. all the Gucci, but mm. will look still look trash. trash. Yeah. Yes. So you have to have the style, and then mm. trust me, I'm a thrift girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seriously. Drift. But then there are some things that where people go like, "Oh my God, I love them!" Like, um, <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's how it is. Okay. No, it's yeah. true. Because oh. I get that people see things, on, and I thrift a lot as mm -hmm. well, and. Sometimes I try to give it off to my friend in the condition. They're like, oh, I don't like yeah, that. Is yeah. that, that, that. I'm like, all right, give me a week with this then. Mm -hmm. They call me back, Mona, I want that bag. I'm like, no, no, no you it's mine now. It. No, no, no. No, no, no. No. So you have to see the beauty past what you yeah. are seeing in front of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Right. So it's expensive, but you know, expensive or when we say something is expensive, I think it's relative. Mm. For me, you might go to a Gucci a shop and you buy like a thousand dollar shoe then uh, we are all going to a red carpet event I might end up going to a can't amount shop or a can't bend down boutique and I'll pick a shoe mm. when you see me there I know what I need mm -hmm. I know the sort of style I want to mm. put out there and I know how to put my outfit together mm. so when you are there though you might have bought a ten thousand suit or a 10,000 shoe, mm. my counterman to 100 CD shoe would stand out mm. because of how I put them together. together. Right. And even how you stand mm. in yeah. that outfit. Mm. You know, Makes one thing people difference. don't know is you have to wear the outfit. Yeah, don't let the outfit That's wear, it's wear yeah. you. You right. wear it. Mm. Okay. Yeah. But Lale, would you shop at Cantamanto? Girlfriend, you have no freaking idea. <laughs> like my, my accessories, especially my bags. If I really want to own like a... Uh, a good bag, like leather, something really good. Trust me, Kant is the place to be. Like, that is the place to be. My bags, Kant. Okay. Yeah. But clothes? Clothes, um, mostly if it's not denim, I like to make them. Mm. Yeah. Because I don't really follow trends. Before you realize, you go and see your auntie somewhere. Exactly. Or your sister somewhere. And exactly. The way, the way I wanted the person to ask if you are into trends. The way the person is working there, you just feel like, oh, oh God. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I don't really buy stuff online. I, I, I do, like, most of the things I do, I make people make them for me. Okay. So I can add my own touch Let's to it. it. There's okay. some things I see I like, but I feel like, mean to me, shit. I might not be able to wear maybe this part of it. Just yeah, so I just mm. make it my own. Right. Yes. So if you're a beginner, Cantamanto is the best place for you. Just mm. you be trick to mm -hmm. that. As mm -hmm. well, though, because when I, I still do, but, like, when I used to do it, religiously i used to set well my target price was very low but if it was more than three cds my wardrobe didn't <laughs> need it it was never that deep okay and i remember there was a day we were walking and then there was a pile of stuff and they were like oh madam and we were like no they said 50 pesos mm. we like we went in that rack like it was nobody's business so with people who want to start going to kant you need to have a price point because Kant is actually quite, it's getting expensive now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you do have to have like a price point and say, 
Well, if this shoe is more than this, like recently I was there and I saw a shoe for 50 cities, which I know I wouldn't get in a boutique for 50 cities, but I'm like, at 50 cities, pie, I can't. When I can get it for 10 cities back yeah. in the days. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you still have to be very careful. Mm -hmm. So in all, it's, I mean, how you put them together. How you put them to together. Plus to you'd be very out. surprised, like, the kind of people who buy things from there. Like, your favorite people that you don't know. Like, mm. that, they don't go themselves. They have, like, personal shoppers who shop yeah. from there for them. You have, if you're told, you'd be so surprised. Yeah. Seriously. Mm. I don't think there should be any shame in where you shop. That's what you can afford. And, mm. like, as it's, it's not even about shame. Like, own it. You know, it's quite, um, it's quite unfortunate that society has made it look that way. Yeah. Because... I remember when um, I sat in a church show like once. A personality, a, a personality like yourself, I mean, society would not expect you what? to go there yeah. to go and show. You know, just like she said, like, I, I pick my church show all the time. Mm -hmm. And then there was this one time, ever since, like, people started noticing me. I sat in a church show once, and then there were these guys. People don't know my name is Lali, mm -hmm. and it's gone. And I was coming from Osu, so there were three boys in the back, and I was sitting in front of them. And then this one's like, ah! Lali, meaning isn't that Lali? Isn't that that girl? Yeah. Ah, then they started. Oh, snap it, oh, snap it. Like, <laughs> I'm like, come on. And I tell you, I'm like, really? Like, no, what were you expecting? Because you want your people, people for no, you to. I don't, I don't mind. But I'm like, come on. I'm, I'm, I'm you a regular schmuggler girl. Mean, I pick my yeah. chocho. Like, come on. There's no big deal about it. Like, I mean, your page is, is for business. Mm -hmm. Your social media, your platform is for business. Mm -hmm. But do you think marketing your brand on social media it's it's i mean difficult with all that you, i mean you're saying yes. marketing your brand on social media is it something that that is difficult for you yes it is it's it is very difficult you know um where we um this part of the world what we do is not really um embraced uh, people are still getting to, to understand, understand you know not what it really is mm. Sometimes when you're doing a photo shoot, people will be passing like, we're all posting on Instagram, mm -hmm. nothing. People just don't get it. I actually read an article where a lady says she used a student loan to that block. That is, I'm asking if it is difficult. It, it is difficult because the thing is, like, for example, we live in somewhere like, okay, we live in Ghana, right? And mm -hmm. you see all these foreign pictures, beautiful background. Like, for, don't even get me started with London, with these beautiful, colorful mm -hmm. buildings and everything. Mm -hmm. Ghana, what do we have? All mm -hmm. greens. Mm -hmm. So now you catch yourself trying to do what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Now you realize everybody's trying to travel. Everybody's trying to do the most. Hotels are not accommodating us. Like, when we go to hotels to take pictures, like, honestly, they shush us out sure. like we are chickens. Like, yeah. we are actually hiding to provide all these pictures. So it makes it very hard, very, very difficult. It is, it is just as they've said, it's very difficult. But I think in the difficulty, as a creative person, you must also learn to be creative about whatever you have seen that you'd want to do same. <laughs> like when she was saying, you know, there are some places in here, in Ghana, that you are not allowed to take pictures. There are certain dresses oh, that sorry, you... You, you mm -hmm. can take pictures with your phone, mm. but not with a camera. Oh, that yes. I never understand. Yeah. Allowed. And um, a, a place has attacked me on Instagram before. Mm -hmm. It was, they were now building it. It wasn't done. And then I took pictures there. And then they waited till my pictures hit about like 8,000 likes. Yeah. And then they sent me a DM to say, take, take it, it down, down or tag us. And I'm like, when I came, <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. But then the way you come at me to yeah. take it down, mm. I'm like, no. So just... Tell me, or oh, maybe it is not open for use or something. The person came at me, take it down or tag us, blah, 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 we're going to report to you. I'm like, no. First of all, when I came there, there was no sign that said, you can't take, you can't can't take, take pictures. pictures. Plus, it was under construction. I was able to look at it with a creative eye and say, okay, if I stand here, I can take a beautiful picture and it will come out nice. Mm -hmm. I had that experience. There was this graffiti by um, Inosu, mm -hmm. by Pinocchio. And I was standing there taking a picture and they're like, you can't take pictures. You can't take pictures. And I'm like, are you like serious? Like, this <laughs> is a graffiti. It's mm. outside. Mm. I can't stand outside. Like, if you guys didn't want people to take pictures, then what was the point of putting it up there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I, don't, I don't get it. There are some places you would even have to pay before. Yes, I think, I think just, uh, mm -hmm. just a minute. I think it all boils down to the kind of society that we find ourselves. Mm -hmm. I mean, People do not understand what we are doing. Mm. People see you, I mean, shooting, and they, they say a lot of stuff about you. Mm. And I think successive governments have also not paid attention to what is happening on Instagram. Mm. 
You get me? I do. I mean, we, we allocate lots of money into tourism, into a whole lot of unnecessary things that is not <laughs> selling Ghana, in my opinion. Okay. You get me? But okay. if we have a message out there that there are some public institutions, there are some public places that you could go there and take pictures and sell Ghana out there, people will understand that and mm. we will be at liberty to put Ghana out there. Mm. Okay. Nigeria is quite different. All and right, so well, let's, let's go for a quick break. Um, sure. When we come back, Lali, you continue with us. <laughs> Ghana's biggest furniture manufacturing place. With over four decades of manufacturing furniture, we are your best place for handling all your furniture projects. Welcome back, you're watching Slayers, and we're talking about social media fashion. It's really getting hotter here. Before we went on the break, we were talking about the difficulties you guys face, I mean, um, marketing your brand on social media, and we're talking about the photos you guys take. Personally, I had an experience inside Jamestown. I'm a gun. So I'm there with my crew, we're shooting, and then these guys come from nowhere like, you can't shoot here. I'm like, wait, hold on. And people say I kind of have like an accent. So it's like, oh, we're just trying to take pictures. And they were just, I'm like, chale, chale, chale. <laughs> <laughs> That's how <laughs> you Exactly. I got pissed off. I'm like, so I can come to my own hometown from freaking Jamestown. I can't come here and take pictures. Mm. They're like, oh, oh. I'm like, no, don't owe oh, oh me. If okay. it was a white person or a colored them, person, yeah. you allow them. them. You even take them on a tour. Mm. But me, a black person, Ghanaian, I'm mm. here in my town trying to showcase what we have and you won't allow me. They were like, oh, no, it's not like that. People come and mess it. I'm like, how am I messing it up? I'm just in an outfit you taking, mess up James me, right? taking a picture. Like, how am I messing it up? How? And then there was this man standing he was just quiet listening and then he came and he asked them to move and then they allowed us to take the pictures I'm like come it's on it's even a plus because you are selling that place, that place. as well i think it's a, even a plus for us for the country because when the foreigners comes in to the country they take them to such places so if we have them on our social media platform even before they get here they've already seen such places yeah. all right so it's been an interesting one we'll continue same conversation next week right here on this very show so make sure next week you are part of the show you can still be a part by getting on our social media platform facebook is layers tv instagram twitter layers tv gh and nalem's promo is still going on nalem ayede get to nalem store and buy things up to 60 percent discounts nalem is in accra mall west hills mall airport terminal two and three thanks to qr leaving for the beautiful deco to fan arts Ghana for the set of furniture my name is mod ade have a good night <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,